Okay, so this question says the function f is defined by f of x equals one fifth x plus nine tenths. For what value of x does f of x equal one? All right, so in essence, I'm using a plug in information from the question technique here. The question tells me that f of x equals one. It's asking me how that happens, right? Like what x value leads to that happening. So I'm gonna replace this f of x here with one and then solve for the x, right? That's my entire process. I'm gonna use what was given, right? So I'm gonna take this f of x equals one fifth x plus nine tenths. And instead say, well, the question told me that f of x is equal to one. So this should be one equals one fifth x plus nine tenths. The question is asking me for the value of x, which means I need to isolate it. So I go, I'm going to subtract 9 tenths from both sides of my equation here. So on this side, the 9 tenths disappear. I'm going to replace 1 with 10 tenths because that's how you subtract fractions. You want to have a common denominator. 10 over 10 is the same as 1, so perfectly fine in doing that. 10 tenths minus 9 tenths is 1 tenth. So I have one tenth equals one fifth x. Then I'm gonna multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is five over one. Why do I do that? Well, I do that so that my coefficient here in front of the x can disappear or cross out, I should say. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. That's the rule of algebra. So on the right-hand side, I have x isolated, which is exactly what I wanted. And now five over one times one tenth is, um, well, we can just say that's 5 tenths, which is 1 half. I could also cross cancel and say 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10 twice, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2 for the denominator. At any rate, x is equal to 1 half. That's how we make this happen.